UK Film Council offered new talent a chance for an informal chat over breakfast with some key industry companies, including the BSS Film Network and Encounter Short Film Festival, all eager to work with new talent. I think it's been really good this year, actually. This is um, just attended a business breakfast where I met lots of people, um, lots of really interesting people, um, you know, so from the, all the regional screen agencies as well, uh, which is really useful to make contact with them. I'm actually um, writing a British set romantic comedy, so I think I would like to see more kind of development support that doesn't rely so much on um, the application process. I think that's what I find quite difficult to kind of go through lots of paperwork. Um, it'd be nice to just kind of send a script in with maybe a cover letter um, and seeing if you can get on a, like the director's lab, I think is running here. And I think that was um, an application process as well, so I kind of didn't do it this year. I might try next year, um, but I think that'd be really useful. We're looking for fresh, original voices. I mean, I, I principally concentrate on producers, directors and, um, and new writers, and particularly with the writers, we're looking for people that, that kind of write cinematically and uh, have a good understanding of writing to budget, but are also fresh and original and creative. It's, it's, it's really difficult, you know, it's a number of different factors. Join us after the break when we met director Richard Quintanowski at the event Anatomy of a Scene to show us exactly what goes on between a film director and cast. It's very strange because it's you're doing in public something that usually happens in private, which is a sort of director developing a scene with actors. And I, you know, it did cross my mind: is this more fun for me and the actors than for the audience? But you know, from getting a little bit of reaction afterwards, I think people found it interesting. You know. It's all about collaboration, you know, and all about communication with other people and. You can't ignore the importance of the actors, you know, because that's what the audience is watching for nearly all the time. And I think it's, it's like, you know, you want a good cinematographer to give you good lighting, but therefore you will give that person a budget and enough time to prepare, etc. And you need to sort of offer the same kind of resources to your cast, simple as that. Sometimes you develop and develop and you're never making anything, and it's like you get to three years down the line and go, what is it we're making again? What was the excitement about? And yeah. we want to be instant filmmakers, so we got actors into a room for six weeks. Um, we took them out in the streets, improvised, we, we, we got them to create their characters, and then we shot it in 18 days. got in people who were ex-addicts and we'd have days of people, real people coming in and telling their story and it was just very emotional. I think, I think what I don't like is there's an attitude which I don't know how it's come about but there's an attitude about Scottish miserableism, this word that keeps getting bandied about about miserableism because we only we're make so miserable, we're so miserable yeah. and we only make films about dark, difficult issues. Well, so do the French, so do the Danish, so do the you know, it's like why can't we do that? And people go, oh, well, it's another film about junkies. Oh, and it's, it's the like, vein in Scotland. Yeah, it's like yeah. actually we've made a film that we're desperate for it to go abroad because yeah. I think that It'll be it might be more you can I see more appreciated. Yeah. I, I think it's important to have a certain degree of flexibility in terms of the transition from screen, you know, from, from script to screen, so it's never as if you're just filming a script. You know, you're actually making a film which has some relationship to a script, but it's, uh, but it's almost as if you start again, once you, once you finish the script, you sort of start again and make it into a film. In, in doing this film, we came up with big, photographs and storyboards and going, we used to call it getting the monkey out of the bag because we were like, ah, look at this visually, we started to give them a different medium of pitching because we went, I don't want to be doing 
pages of treatments and this and that. I want to kind of guide you in visually. You know, you need a certain amount of technical knowledge. Uh, what you say is grammar, but you can learn this in about 45 minutes in that, you know, anybody's grandmother could be a director, but it's very difficult to become a very good director, I think. If you don't hold your ground with your film, you're going to lose it. It's going to start to disperse into the idea that you were enthusiastic because sometimes too many chefs. You know, most short films that are made are kind of like mini feature films, and so you have too much plot and it's crammed into 10 or 15 minutes, and the film isn't really a film, it's a sort of calling card. It says, look, I can tell a story, I can keep things in focus, I do nice camera angles, uh, give us a job, please. And yet, even a short film, even a one-minute film, has to be made for an audience. And what an audience wants, I think, especially with a short film, is something a little bit different. Life is short. Experience it fully. Become a filmmaker. I'm Hannah Tiffin. Thank you for watching.